Hi, welcome to the Calyx Garden. I am Don, and today I have the pleasure of explaining to you the process of composting. This is a very important process for the home gardening and for farming in general. Composting is a, pro is a natural process by which vegetative materials are broken down from humus and that can be used to feed back to the plants as nutrients. It also has the additional bene benefit of improving the soil quality and increasing the number of microbes in the soil. And you know, microbes are an important part of the whole um, plant nutrition process. We have here um, our composting facility. And as you will see, we have three distinct areas. In the far corner is what we call our raw material. This is clippings from the garden, from trimming, trimming hedges and from cutting the lawn. Um, we have kitchen scraps and normally we just dig a hole in the raw material pile throw that in and cover it up so it does not attract too many animals and that will stay for a while. After the first pile has started to dry down, we move it to the second pile. And as you see, and in this pile, after about a week or two, and you can see that the leaves now have already started to to, to rot and change their form to a softer, mushier form. And that is an indication that the composting process has started. The third area is where the real composting um, gets going and is completed. And th there's a process for preparing this final pile, which we will show later on. But this is a pile that has been here for about six weeks or so, and I'm going, um, I'm going to just dig into it and show you the stage of, decompose, um, of composting that has occurred to date. At, at this stage, you can't identify the individual leaves or bits and pieces that were thrown in, and the, it's now taking a more soil-like appearance as the leaves and other particles are, have now break, broken down. However, as you can see, it has not completed the process yet. So what we're going to do is wet this some more. And we'll recover cover it again and leave it for another two weeks or so, at which point I think it, it should be ready for use. Composting can be as simple as leaving a pile of organic materials to decompose on its own. However, the process can be accelerated by the addition of materials that sustain the microbes that actually do the work. These include aged manure, water, and turning to improve the oxygen supply to the microbes. Chopping the components into small pieces also speeds up the process. It's best not to put meat scraps in the pile as this may attract animals such as rats. In our operation, we mix the aged manure with water for easy application to the pile. To build the pile, we alternate layers of easily compostable materials. The manure slurry and harder to decompose materials to give a more uniform distribution of the various components. Water is also added to each layer. This method produces compost of uniform consistency.
Once the layering is completed, we cover the pile to protect it from animals and heavy rainfall. Each week we open the pile, turn the components to aerate it, wet if necessary, and replace the cover. We'll shovel from the compost pile into the sieve. Then with our hands, slowly work it through. And remember to wear gloves so you don't damage your hands. Um, PPE is important in any aspect of this. And in this case, good heavy gloves are essential so you don't damage your hand either from stuff that's in the compost or on the, from the, this, this, the, the wire mesh in the bottom. What is left behind is material that is not quite composted and along with gravel and other bits of things, pieces of plastic. These are things that would have gotten into the pile that, that will not compose. So we'll now throw this off and I'll just show, show you what we have in the bin now is nice soft compost material which can be used. Okay, and that is uh, and that is how you prepare the, the compost for use. That will now be mixed with soil or with other potting mix for either setting new seedlings or planting seedlings in, in your garden. In addition to using compost as a component in potting mixes, we also apply it to our crops as organic fertilizer because compost is packed with plant nutrients as well as beneficial microbes that continue to decompose organic matter in the soil, thereby releasing more nutrients and improving soil structure. We have analyzed our compost and soil to determine their nutrient content, and the results are as shown. While both soil and compost had similar pH values, the compost had five times as much nitrogen as the soil, seven times as much phosphorus, and over 30 times as much potassium. However, bear in mind that the nutrients in the compost are released slowly as de this depends on the population and activity of the microorganisms responsible for breaking down organic matter into nutrients for the plants. So, in reality, composting behaves as a slow-release fertilizer. We in the Calyx Growing Things garden can attest to the fact that composting has numerous benefits. One, it recycles organic matter as nutrients for plants. Two, it improves soil structure. And three, it provides a useful and environmentally positive way to get rid of biodegradable household and gardening waste. So, there it is, composting. It may be as simple as a small pile in the corner of your garden or as large and sophisticated as you wish it to be, depending on the amount of material you have to process. But as we have emphasized in this video, composting is a convenient way of improving or sustaining the health of your soil. And it's a known fact that healthy soil will support healthy plants. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And I hope you found this video informative. If you did, give us a thumbs up and tell your friends about it. Also, check our links to Amazon and Bufusion, where you'll find our books covering a wide range of topics on farming and gardening, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So that's it for today. Bye-bye, and keep composting.